Which of the following expressions is the closest approximation to the height h in feet of the roof truss shown below? So let me just redraw this triangle here. On one side we have uh, you know, this height. I'm just gonna draw half of the shape, just the important triangle that we're gonna need to solve for. Uh, here we have, uh, they gave us a couple facts, a couple pieces of information we can work with. One, we know this angle right here is a 20 degree angle. Second, we know the length of the base of the triangle. So the total distance across this whole thing is 30 feet. And the distance from uh, the, just this part of just the one half of the figure is 15 feet. The other side is 15 feet as well, half of 30. And finally, we know an important fact that this is a right triangle. We know this for several reasons, but it, we can tell that it's uh, just like the corner of a rectangle. It's a 90 degree angle. And if we know that, then we can use this important identity. That is, what's the meaning of tangent? What's the meaning of tangent, in this case, of one of the angles of this triangle, this right triangle, of 20 degrees? And the tangent of a, uh, of a triangle, of a right triangle, is equal to the length of the side opposite from the angle. So in this case, the side, if we go directly opposite from this angle, it's h over here. So it's the length of h divided by the length of the side that is adjacent to this angle. So here down below is the side that's adjacent divided by the length of, of that side, which is 15. All right, now we have this formula. Now it's a simple matter of correcting the formula to solve for the height. And what we get if we multiply both sides times 15 here is that 15 times the tangent of 20 degrees is equal to the height and that is the correct answer a so the important part about this question is memorizing the meaning of tangent which is the side opposite from the angle divided by the side adjacent to the angle in a right triangle